Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to get a mouse highlighter on Windows 10 PC. And this is the best one I found. It's completely free, it's safe to use, it gives you a lot of control. Let me show you how to get it. The only other option I found besides this that worked after testing out about a dozen of them is you actually have one. If you look up here, mouse settings, if you just search for that and select this option, mouse settings, you do have a few different options here if you go to the mouse control and go over to adjust mouse and cursor size. This is just a default stuff on Windows where you could change the size of the mouse here. You could see it changing so I could change it. But the highlighter is not coming from this page. This just lets you maybe turn it to black or to white or have this kind of effect on it. And under this option, additional mouse settings, I just want to show you all these available options that are here. Let me go to additional mouse settings here and it opens up this window. And if you go to your pointer, you could actually change it to these different shapes. So it could be a hand, for example, or a stop sign. And you could even load more here from the internet and then go ahead and apply those to change it. But none of these gave me the highlighter option. Even when I changed all these different settings and I went through them, none of them gave me the highlighter option. So let me show you how to get that. Go ahead and open up your browser here and I'm going to go ahead and type in this website here. I'll put it in the description so you could just click it to come to this website. And this is the one I got. And this comes from Microsoft.com. It's free. I just press get here. It works on Windows 10 and then I downloaded it here and I pressed installed and now I could press launch and it's already running since I'm using it right now. Let me show you what it does here. I'm going to search for it. If you don't see it, it's called mouse highlighter. So you could go ahead and see the window here. Mine is minimized. So let me go ahead and bring it up. So look at some of these options this gives you. The first one is the size of the highlight. So if you change this to 20, for example, and press apply settings down here, look how small it is. Wait, I raised mine all the way to 200 and pressed apply and this got too big. So 100 seems to be a good size for me on this screen. This depends on your screen. Then you have the opacity. I like 200, but if you go to 255, which is the maximum I apply it, you can't see anything under it kind of defeats the purpose. So I think by default is somewhere closer to 150. If that doesn't work, 200 seems to be good on my screen and you could change the color of it. So maybe you don't like a yellow highlighter. You could do a green highlighter. Press OK. And look at that's a green highlighter now and then you could again change all the sizes. Let me go back to yellow here. I'll do this yellow this time. That's nice and bright. Now you have click highlight. This is when you click you see that dot that it creates. You could turn that off. So when you click nothing is happening or you could turn it on and change some of the things you see. So default size is 30. Let me go ahead and apply that. Now when I click it's a nice big green dot so people know where you clicked. Again, you could change the opacity here and you could change the display time. So if you want it to be super fast, let me change this to 80. So now when I click, it just is a quick dot and it doesn't stay. So the 800 that was there before, if I click, it stays there for a minute. So this is really depending on what you're using this for and what your style and preferences are. But you could play with all these numbers. Very, very easy to use, very easy to understand. And then anytime you want to turn this off, you could basically just turn off this app or if you don't want to have this app in the way, just minimize it. It will show up down here. But if I go ahead and press X on it, that highlighter will disappear. So if I'm recording my screen or if I'm doing a conference call on Zoom or Microsoft Teams, I would turn that on, show everything I'm doing on the screen and then I'll go ahead and turn that off anytime I could look for it over here. Mouse highlighter, open the app and it's back up exactly with the settings that I left it on. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.